I'm Daryl Jin Yam, the writer of Kappa Quartet, and I'm turning 26 later this month. At the age of 21, uh, I decided to submit a short story and a long poem, and it's called Serif. I was really nervous when I submitted it. I mean, I didn't know what to think of it, I didn't know what the editors would think. But then the editors told me that yes, they'll be publishing both the short story and the long poem, and that was a real sign of validation for me. Finally, I think around year two of uni, I decided I think it was time that I start writing a novel. I went to Japan for a year to the University of Tokyo as an exchange student. I wrote this book that was set in both Singapore and Japan. It's called Kappa Quartet. Submitted for the Epigram Book Fiction Prize, got long listed, and it got published, and yeah, now we're here. <laughs> I wanted the first book to be the kind of book in which people could look back to it and say this is where it all began. I think first week of January, I got an email from my editor Jason Eric Lundberg saying Epigram is interested in publishing a book. I was like, wow, thank you. And the one thing I learned from the incident was really awards don't matter. You know, like glory, recognition, it really doesn't matter. As long as someone is willing to take a chance on you, to do the thing that you've always dreamt of doing, that's what matters at the end of the day. If you are an aspiring writer, you should learn to read a lot. Read everything. You know, not just fiction. Or not just fiction of a particular century. Read what's happening right now and read all of it. Get as many perspectives as you can and learn as many ways to craft a story as you can by reading what's being written right now. Live your life. Okay, when you've run out of imagination, you can always rely on the stories. I would say to young writers, like, don't be in a rush. Practice is perfect, and also, rejection is the best teacher. <laughs>